tell you, Cassius, you yourself are much condemned to have an itching palm, to sell and mark your offices for gold to undeservers. I am itching palm. You know that you are Brutus that speaks as from by the gods and speaks for out your lap. The meaning of Cassius funds this corruption. And I chastise my debtor for her debt. Remember March. The Ides of March, remember. Did not great Julius plead for justice's sake? What villain touched his body that did stab? And not for justice shall we now contaminate our fingers with base crimes and sell the likely space of our large honors for so much trash as may grasp at us. I'd rather be a dog than a bay no moon than a social man. Brutus, bay not me. I'll not endure it. You forget yourself, the head man. I'm a soldier. To. You are not Cassius. I am. I say you are not. Urge me no more. I shall forget myself. Have mind upon yourself. Tempt me no further. Away, slight man. Impossible! Hear me. For I would speak. Must I give way and room to your rash comment? Shall I be frighted when a madman stares? Oh, you gods, you gods, must I endure all this? All this, I, more. Twerk to your proud heart. Go show your slaves how calm that you are, and make your bondmen tremble. Must I blush? Must I adore you? Must I stand and crouch under your testy humor? By the gods, you shall digest the venom of your spleen. But if you split me for from this day forth, I'll use you for my mirth, yea, for my laughter in your white flesh. If it come to this. There is my dagger, and here my mute's breath, within a heart dearer than Pluto 
laughter to his root when grief and blood ill-tempered vexeth him. When I spoke back, I was saying I was asleep. <laughs> Do you confess your lust? <laughs> Give me your hand. And my heart, too. Oh, Brutus, what's the matter? How not you love enough to bear with me when that rash humor which my mother gave me makes me forgetful? <laughs> Sorrow better for his day. Ah, what day? This day. What peace I came when I crossed you so? How an insupportable and capital mock? Upon what thicket? Impatient with my absence. And the queen, young Octavius, and Mark Antony, have made themselves so strong. Our brimful, our cause is right. The enemy increaseth every day. We at the height are ready to decline. But there is a tide in the affairs of men, which, taken at the flood, leads on to fortune omitted. All the voyage of their life is bound in shallows and in misery. And such a full sea are we now afloat, and we must take the when it serves or lose our ventures. Then with 